Good afternoon, grade 3 learners, parents, friends, and to all listeners in Z Radio 88.5. How are you today? That's good. Are you ready for our next lesson? It's good to hear. This is once again Teacher Kim, your teacher in Mathematics 3 at your service. This time, I want you to find a comfortable place and gather all the materials needed for today's lesson. Prepare your Module 7 in Quarter 2, Mathematics, which is Solving Problems Involving Multiplication. Your ball pen, extra sheet of paper, and of course, yourself. If you're ready, just say, Teacher, I'm ready. So, are you ready? All right, because Teacher Kim is also very ready. Now, get ready for our first activity. I want you to find the product of the following problems. Number 1. What is 5 times 10? Again, what is 5 times 10? And the answer is... Very good! The answer is 50! Number 2. What is the product when we multiply 25 by 8? I repeat, what is the product when we multiply 25 by 8? What is your answer? Correct! The answer is 200. Yay! Number 3. Some bought three books worth 150 pesos each. How much did he pay in total for three books? Some bought three books worth 150 pesos each how much did he pay in total for three books say your answer loudly very good sam paid 450 pesos Why 450 pesos? Yes, because Sam bought three books worth 150 each. We need to multiply 150 pesos by three. The answer is 450 pesos. Very good learners, you did well. Did you still remember the steps in solving problem involving multiplication? Great! What are the steps? Excellent! In solving routine problem, Involving multiplication, follow these steps. First, read and understand the problem. Know what is asked and know the given. Second, 
plan what to do. Identify the operation to be used and give the number sentence. Third, solve the problem. Do the required operation. And lastly, check the answer. Is the answer reasonable? Wow! I am so glad that you still remember these steps. We will discuss this further later. But before that, let us listen to a story first. Another morning comes. Shane woke up and greeted everyone with a wide smile. She is very excited because her friend Fred will come as they decided to study together again. Mom, my friend Fred and I decided to study together today. Oh, that's good, Shane. It is always better to learn with a friend. It makes learning more exciting. Yes, Mom. I already prepared our study area. Oh, I guess that's her. I'll go and welcome her, Mom. Okay, Shane. I'll be in the kitchen to prepare your snacks. Good morning, Shane. Good morning, Fred. Come on inside. Sure. Thank you. I'm so excited for today, Shane. I bought some snacks for us. Here's two chocolate cookies, two cupcakes, and two bottle juice. This is for you, and this is for me. Wow! Thank you, Fred. You bought too many snacks. Yes. Actually, Mom gave me 200 pesos and only 30 pesos left. I actually don't understand why it costs too much. Well, let's ask Mom about that. Oh, what's the problem here? Hmm, Fred bought some snacks, Mom, and she wanted to know why there's only 30 pesos left with her 200 pesos money. Well, do you still remember the prices of these snacks, Fred? Yes, Tita. These cookies were 25 pesos each. This cupcake is 15 pesos each. And this bottle juice worth 45 pesos each. And I bought two for item, Tita. I guess we need to solve this problem. The two of you sit here, and I will teach you how to solve problem involving multiplication with addition and subtraction of whole numbers. So are you ready? Yes, mom. Yes, tita. So Shane's mom continued to teach them, and they listened attentively. Let us have a short break, and when we come back, I will teach you how to solve routine problems involving multiplication with addition and subtraction using appropriate solving strategies. The Rajo Z Escuela program of the Division of Davao de Oro is being brought to you by Nueda Builders Construction and Supply Incorporated, Maverick Builders Incorporated, Mitch Construction and Supply, Arkikons Architectural Construction and Supply. DB Construction and Supply, Hanawai Builders Corporation, Phoenix Corvada Tagum Gasoline Station, Master Construction and Supplies, Mackenzie Builders, GP and H Construction Incorporated, Metro Gear Construction Corporation, NEN Builders and Development Services Corporation, Max Maze Enterprises Incorporated, We Inc Construction Company, Rangai Construction and Supply. East Sussex Enterprise, WM Construction, Councillor Boogie and Miss Marjorie Vertodazo, Icon Builders and Supply, and Apex Mining Company Incorporated. And we are back. 
Grade 3 learners, are you still there? Good to hear. Because at this point of time, we will learn how to solve routine problems involving multiplication with addition and subtraction using appropriate solving strategies. Learners, remember that in the problem solving, it is necessary to understand what is being asked by the problem? What are the given information? And what operation to be used to solve what is being asked by the problem? Prepare your paper and pencil or ball pen and let answer this together. Here is an example. Mother bought 15 boxes of marbles. Each box has 12 pieces of marbles. How many pieces of marbles she bought in all? I repeat. Mother bought 15 boxes of marbles. Each box has 12 pieces of marbles. How many pieces of marbles she bought in all? To answer this problem, we need to answer these questions. Number 1. Who bought the marbles? Yes, it is the mother. Number two, how many boxes of marbles did she buy in all? Correct! Mother bought 15 boxes. Number three. What is asked in the problem? All right. Number of pieces of marbles. Number four. What are the given? Very good. The given are 15 boxes of marble. Each box has 12 pieces of marbles. Number 5. What is the operation to be used to solve the problem? Yes, it is multiplication. Number six, what is the number sentence? Good! 15 times 12 is equal to N. N represents the number. Number seven, what is the answer? Very good! The answer is 180 pieces of marbles. Why 180? Because when we multiply 15 by 12, the product is 180. Do you want another example? All right, here's another example. Mary went to the mall to buy wallets. She bought six wallets that cost 35 pesos each. 
Mary has 220 pesos on her pocket. She gave it to the cashier and waited for the change. How much is the change? First, what is ask? The remaining change of Mary. Next, know the given. Number one, how many wallets were bought? Yes, Mary bought six wallets. Number two. How much does each wallet cost? Yes, the wallet cost 35 pesos each. Number three. How much money did Mary have? Yes, Mary have 220 pesos on her wallet. So these three are our given. <laughs> and what operation should be used? Of course, we will use subtraction and multiplication. So, what is the number sentence? The number sentence is 220 pesos minus 35 pesos times 6 is equal to N. Again, N represents the number. Six wallets were bought at 35 pesos each. So 35 multiplied by 6. And product is deducted to Mary's money which is 220 pesos. In this process, we will be able to solve for its remaining change. Finally, what is the answer? Very good! Mary's change is 10 pesos. In solving the given problem, it is important to identify the possible operations to be used. Very good learners! Another good job for the correct answer! Let us move on to our example number 3. The family of Mr. Cruz went to the restaurant to celebrate his birthday. Inside the restaurant are five long tables with four chairs in each table. They are 25 in all. How many chairs do they still need? First, what is asked? Yes, it is the number of chairs still needed. Next, what are the given? Number one, how many long tables are there? There are five long tables. Number two, how many chairs are there in every table? 
Yes! There are four chairs in each table. Number three. How many members? Twenty-five members. And what operation should be used? Of course, we will use multiplication and subtraction. So what is the number sentence? All right, the number sentence is 25 minus 4 times 5 is equal to N. Finally, what is the answer? Very good! They still need another 5 cheers. I am so glad that you answered the questions correctly. Very good, learners! Now let us go back with a story. Now it's your turn. Practice what you have just learned. Go to page 10 of your module. And answer this question. The Paloma family made Puto to collect money for the victims of the typhoon. They made 15 boxes of Puto with 20 pieces in each box. How many pieces of Puto did the Paloma family members prepare? Do it now! And follow the steps that I taught you. Because after a short break, we will find out if your answer is correct. The Rajo Z Escuela program of the Division of Davao de Oro is being brought to you by Nueda Builders Construction and Supply Incorporated, Maverick Builders Incorporated, Mitch Construction and Supply. Arkikon's Architectural Construction and Supply, DB Construction and Supply, Hanawai Builders Corporation, Phoenix Corvada Tagum Gasoline Station, Master Construction and Supplies, Mackenzie Builders, GP and H Construction Incorporated, Metro Gear Construction Corporation, NEN Builders and Development Services Corporation, Max Maze Enterprises Incorporated, We Inc Construction Company. Rangai Construction and Supply, East Sussex Enterprise, WM Construction, Councillor Boogie and Miss Marjorie Vertodazo, Icon Builders and Supply, and Apex Mining Company Incorporated. And we are back. And now, let us check your answers for this question. The Paloma family made Puto to collect money for the victims of the typhoon. They made 15 boxes of Puto with 20 pieces in each box. How many pieces of Puto did the Paloma family members prepare? Let's check! First is what is asked and the problem. Correct! The total number of photo the Paloma family members prepare. Next, know the given. Number one, how many boxes? of photo were made. 
Yes, there are 15 boxes. Number 2. How many pieces of photo are there in each box? Very good. There are 20 pieces in each box. And what operation should be used? Of course, we will use multiplication. So what is the number sentence? The number sentence is 15 times 20 is equal to N. And now solve for the answer and perform the given operation. Finally, what is the answer? Excellent! The total number of photo the Palome family members prepared are 300. Job well done, learners! Yay! Now, can you tell me the steps in solving problem involving multiplication? Yes, very good! In solving word problems involving multiplication, use the following questions as guide. What is ask? What are the given? What operation to be used? What is the number sentence? And what is the answer? It is important to know these steps in order for you to solve certain problems which can also be applied in our daily lives. Congratulations to our learners for achieving this lesson well. Yay! For your evaluation, answer the assessment on page 11 and additional activities on page 12 of your module. You can submit your answer to your teacher in your respective schools. I hope you enjoyed our lesson for today. Please continue studying and answering the activity on your module. Ask assistance from your parents or guardians in doing your activity. Thank you for listening. Once again, this is Teacher Kim, your teacher in Mathematics 3. Be safe everyone and God bless us all. Rajas Escuela Executive Committee the school's division superintendent, Yofemia T. Gamutin Seso 5. Assistant school's division superintendent, Dr. Romel R. Handayan. OIC Curriculum Implementation Division Chief, Karina S. Frasco. School Governance and Operations Division Chief, Dr. Roben J. Riponte. Members, Cecilia Morales, Dr. Hilda A. Opeña, Dr. Arlene B. Lim. Dr. Eldicris B. Calzadora, Dr. Dexter A. Sikinia, Nohara O. Pinute, Noemi P. Canales, Dr. Grace D. Pontilias, Virgilito C. Pabrises, Juanito Lapiceros, Engineer Norberto S. Manlangi, Jomar M. Dumupoy, Bob Dalan S. Milabat, Medard T. Ampit, and Paz Eugenia Villusino. Technical Working Committee Productions and Communications Laurie Lee E. Quijano Given G. Hinampas Judy Land D. U. Donna D. T. Bolifer Mary Rose N. Resma Riven Manuel Irene Lea C. Manguhon and Bessie Aya N. Banias Social Media and Packaging Team Christian Anhara L. Martesho William R. Ranara, Joan T. Iscoton, Roberto S. Acusar Jr., May B. Istanyol, 
Richard H. Arellano, Glee L. S. Blanco, Ralph A. Tabanyag, Angelo Gutierrez Jr., and Jade Karen Arais.